on to race three then this is the smokescreen listed mares hurdle and it's two and a half miles this time uh, we're going to get a card this time as well the top one is chatterbury altos for ron costello Darnie's tarnigan for leon van rensburg esther tide jubilate for hems fallen star t rogers gold hildred paul rhodes jardine graham clutterbuck lady banks paul o'neill love medicine ryan costello napa pridry for paul fist Polly pop martin lead tip top for joshua sutherland and transfixed worry james shea so called in and away then rain has stopped and transfixed worry is going to be the first to show from the first of the greys who's love medicine and then napa perjury was a winner last week i think or certainly ran well last week polly pop is the back mark of the leader did not jump that very well at all rattled it hard and has allowed gold hildred to go on so gold hildred then is the leader they call it the second of 14 flights of hurdles in this two and a half mile listed race for mares only and transfixed worry is in the lead jardine second as they skip over number three Gold Hill just behind them, a gap of about three lengths then to Fallen Star and Napa Pidgey. After that one, as they take number four, and you Love Medicine and Tip Top next, and then Dalanese Targian. I think Leon told me or something they do in Game of Thrones last week. Never I watched it, old no. So Transfix Worry is the leader. Gold Hill in second, Jardine third. Fallen Star back in fourth. Then Napa Pidgey, Tip Top and Polly Pop together. Love Medicine and Chatterbury Altos, the stable companions, also close up together with Lady Banks just between them and the grey Esther Tide Jubilate. It's just the back marker. But they've still got a long way to go. Another complete circuit yet as they race down towards the next flight of hurdles. Oh yeah, Transfixed Worry. Just did a good jump there by Jardine. And there's a, there's a, there's a four at the back there, it must have been. Just a little blip in the graphic, looked like something had gone, but it hadn't. And this, I think, will be the last next time round. Certainly, be one of the last. And Gold Hilda has just poked its head in front. Um, Transfixed Warrior in second. This one is the one that will be the last next time. I'm pretty sure about that. That's the big screen. Past the winning post. And one more complete circuit of the track to go, and Transfix where he's got back in front. Gold Hill at his second, and Jardine his third. Gap of a good six lengths then to Fall and Star in fourth. Tip Top is five, and Napa Pidgey is six. Polly Pop is seven. Then Lady Banks and Esther Tide Jubilate. Dionys Targaryen is after that one on the back two. Uh, Chatterbury Altos and the Grey Love Medicine. And he's a further two or three lengths behind his stable mate, but it's Transfixed Worry in the lead. Five out ahead. Gold Hildred pestering on the outside. Jardine tucked in behind in third. These three are well clear of the rest of them. And they're headed by Fallen Star. It's the Tide Jubilate is the grey closest to us as they make their way to the next and into the final mile of this listed hurdle race. And over that one they go. And you see them all over nicely. Jumping well. And with Gold Hildred just back in the lead again. Now as they take the ninth. Chasing Pat, getting that little bit closer to the leading three. Gold Hildred, Transfit, Murray and Jardine. And it all their own way so far as they take number 10. That one okay as well. Gold Hildred with Paul Rhodes in the lead. Over the 11th, three more to take. And Gold Hold Hildred has kicked on now then. And has gone a couple clear. Jardine's trying to go with that one. Transfix Murray is just beginning to lose his place, Fallen Star and Napa Pidgey are trying to get into it, so is Polly Pop, Lady Banks and Diana East Tarnigan after that one, Esther Tide Jubilate the Grey coming widest of all, but it's Gold Hildred who is in the lead, by about a length and a half to Jardine, Napa Pidgey is going particularly well in third, then comes Transfix, we in Fallen Star, Tip Top is now coming out of the pack, also Diana East Tarnigan is also getting closer as well as the field begin to bunch. They've got to get to Gold Hill to those two clear of Napa Pidgey. Napa Pidgey now throws out a big challenge and here comes Diana East Targaryen on the outside as they take the third last. It's Napa Pidgey who's gone on from Diana East Targaryen. They were the two that everybody fancied at the beginning of the race I think and they're now beginning to race towards the second last. And Napa Pidgey
Good thing you need lighter blues in the lead. But a good jump there by Tip Top Diner. He's targeting. just gone out of it a little bit. Esther Tide Dream Black Tide into it. So it's Body Pop. But it's Napa Pidgey coming down towards the final flight. Napa Pidgey gets over it well. From Diner he's targeting it on Tip Top. And then Polly Pop trying to get into it. But it's Napa Pidgey racing up towards the line. Napa Pidgey's got a second. Napa Pidgey's the winner. Diner he's targeting the second. Then Polly Pop and Tip Top. Jardine dropped away a little bit. Gold Hill Dream completely faded up the straight. And an exciting finish in the two that ran really well last week. Dominated the finish. Tip Top and Polly Pop up there as well. Let's get a look at the full list. It's Napa Pidgey for Paul Fisk, the winner. Diner is Targian for Leon van Rensburg, second. Tip Top for Joshua Sullivan was third. Polly Pop for Martin Leedham, fourth. And Esther Tide Jubilate for Hems was fifth.